All right, my friends, welcome to today's episode. So you have gotten through episode two, Theater of Lies, and we're going to give you two, not just one, two hard mode episodes that I think are the easiest ones for you to get through and be successful and start working on those legendary biscuits. So thank you for tuning in today. If you got a question, if you got a comment throughout, let me know because I'd love to hear from you as always. And feel free to join us in our amazing active Discord server. All right, let's get into it here for two. 229 fairy kingdom returns i'm going to talk about why this one and 230 here for you and also don't forget to like and sub because i appreciate that support all right here we go so a couple things we are going to go into hard mode the nice thing about 229 here is one of my favorites you're going to get access to both the legendary light biscuit and the legendary zesty biscuit so basically giving you the ability to hit both your damage dealers here which is just awesome and then additionally here on 230 you're going to have have another damage dealer and a support one there as well so let's go ahead we're gonna break this down for you as you see I only got two stars so we're gonna make it even more real for you here today so first and foremost once you beat 228 we got a guide there for you as well opens up 229 and 230 a couple things about the hard mode on this one that is so exciting first and foremost before we give you the four T's um, you get access to ginger brave you get access to strawberry you get access to wizard cookie and they're going to help you fight through this why is that important because that super super helps you get by this and it's an amazing strategy in order of picking off two hard modes and gain those legendary beast kits so first and foremost that is why so let's go ahead now and break down our four t's which is the tactics the team the treasures and the toppings in order to make you successful so 229 here the fairy kingdom returns a couple things as always we are in beast yeast the land radiates with the power of the beast before you unfolds a landscape unlike like anything you've seen in Crispia. Additionally here, now again, topping bonus effects X. Couple things here though. This is what I'm talking about. You still have Spore Dispersal. Your cookies will gain Spore Points whenever certain enemies use specific skills or get hit. Once the Spore Point meter is filled, you will gain the Mushroom Mutation status. In this state, your team's buff effects will be reduced and the damage they receive will be increased. The effect is stackable. Once Mushroom Mutation is over, its target will disperse spores around themselves. And then here we go. Ginger Brave and friends. Ginger Brave, Strawberry, and Wizard Cookie enter the battle with you. It's amazing. Now, they're going to take a ton of damage so you want to make sure we'll talk about some strategy here in a second um effects healing decreased hp shield capacity decreased enemies debuff down and damage we also have the guardian's protection here now this white lily cookie now wields the power of the guardian the summon staff deals critical damage to nearby enemies the staff deals reduced damage to powerful enemies and applies hp shield and restores hp for allies now a couple things here you will have a big mean boss at the end even more yeast spores gets a little bit harder we got tons of the yeast spores and we got to look out for the spore moth we're going to talk about that here in a second and the Agora. So a couple things here in terms of our team. Let's go ahead and move into it right here. So a couple things. We can still use the jungle strategy to make this work. So you can keep pushing back here with mozzarella. You can also use the Yeti cotton cookie and as well as our friend uh, prune plus the golden cheese now a couple of other strategies that you can do you can remove this one because we do have the other damage dealers in there and just keep stuff off so we're going to give you another alternative option what i like is actually more damage dealers in here so a couple things that you can do we can add in black pearl as an example um, you could also use moonlight a lot of players are probably going to want to be on um, the White Lily. I don't have White Lily on this one, so we can't use her, but those are some ideas and strategies. What you want to do is keep pushing things back. You're going to take advantage of your friends and keep going with that, for example. Now, a couple things here in terms of the treasures. What we want to do is stay on damage and cool down. That's going to be key for you here. So we're on the Dream Conductor's Whistle, Old Pilgrim Scroll, and Squishy Jelly Watch. A couple trades if you wanted to. You could be on Librarian's Enchanted Robes. We could also go down Insignia of the Domino knights there um, also sleepyhead's jelly watch the damage here with disciples magic scroll crit with grim looking sigh and then also more gatekeepers horn as an example for if you need more defense but those are some good strategies there for you the other one that you can use too that i think is a good one 
is actually creme brulee. Creme brulee is gonna help you really, really knock these things down. So we're gonna swap that instead of black pearl actually. And I like that too, because again, you're pretty much all epics in order to get by this. Um, and creme brulee and all these other ones, you can use the mileage point shop. So I do wanna call that out there for you. Now, in terms of the toppings, toppings are still important. We got toppings and biscuit guides for you here on the channel that you can check out. Additionally, on this one, um, we still get to take advantage of the key bonus effects. So we wanna do that, just not the sub stats. We're on attack here. We're on attack here. We're on cooldown here. We're on cooldown here. And then we're on attack here as well. So that's a fast flyby. And then as we look at our cookies, we do want to make sure that we have those biscuits. So let's go ahead and grab a great biscuit here for our friend. Which one do we want to use? Uh, we're on cooldown there. Let's go ahead and grab. Nah, we'll leave it. We'll be okay. Just make sure you put your biscuit on for now. Um, and then additionally here, similar for all the other ones, like I said, we do have guides here for you, um, everyone to take advantage of as well. I do like to show these so that you can see exactly where I'm at for some of your benchmarking, baselining, and all that fun stuff there, um, as always. So my power level is at 220, 2.2 million. We're gonna go against 2.9, I promise. We're gonna take it down for you. So let's get into it. There we go. <clears throat> quick easy swap if we need to now again this strategy is continuing to push things back um, you can lose the ginger brave friends here so keep that in mind now again keeping everything up the big one here that you do want to do is drop that right away because you want to take that moth down so that is exactly what we did we were able to keep creme brulee alive here and then what we want to do is keep pushing everything back and keep those hits in there there you go, 229 underway. We still gotta deal with the spore stuff, so don't forget about that. Here we're a little bit off, but we do have our friends in the way. There we go. Let's keep pushing them back. Now again, lots of the spore counts coming in, so we gotta be careful here. Now you'll see that we did start to lose our friends. We gotta keep this stuff up. Keep it back, get the damage in there. Quickly, 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 my friends. There it is. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Now what you'll see here is, we just gotta get this off. There we go. We're still okay. We're still okay once this comes up. One more. There we go. And we're still in it. And that, my friends, is it. All she wrote, very close there. So again, some of the other strategies and cookies that we talked about that you can swap in can make a big difference for you. You saw that we did lose our friends along the way. So just be careful of that. Some of the challenges that you'll see is they'll get that spore or mushroom thing and they'll start hitting everything else. So those are all key things to pay attention to. Now, again, you could use the fairy strategy, white lily strategy as well to evade some of those things. All right, so there we go. We're on to our next stage as well. So now again, we got the similar strategy here. This time instead though, we do have spore moth. We got I berry, we also have the yeast spores, but we're also gonna fight the sword and the shield spores plus the goras. Everything else is the same here in terms of what we're gonna hit. We can run it with this team once again and use all the same strategy. Again, if you wanna swap some of those things out, you certainly can do that um, in terms of the team. One of the things, like I said, maybe you're gonna shift out creme brulee, use a little bit more broader damage dealer there instead of the single target. So if we wanna do that as an example, let's go ahead and throw black pearl in there. Um, again, that's also gonna open the jam up for us and also allow us to slow things down instead of working on pure direct damage. All right, so let's go forward here with this particular team today. Black Pearl is on cooldown as well, just so that you know that if you got any questions. A little bit more survivability. Now, once again, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna wait to see that mop. That's when we're really gonna start to drop um, everything else with this sword. So it's gonna come here in the next wave. So again, only two waves. That is key. There's the moth. We need to drop it now so we don't get in trouble there. We got the moth out of the way, my friends. And now you're starting to see lots of this damage over time here dealt to everything because of this last mob, which is really, really important to pay attention to. And there you have it. 230, the Guardian of the Seal, three star on hard mode for you. And now you can take advantage 
of all that stuff and get some amazing legendary biscuits because we've now put this thing on auto mode for you my friends which is awesome so so awesome so to pull it all back together today you've completed 228 episode 2 theater of lies i wanted to do the hard mode guides here for you for 229 and 230 because in fact like i said i think there's some of the easier ones here um, and take advantage of some great legendary biscuits with that we gave you the four t's as we always do the team the tactics the treasure and the toppings in order to succeed and took advantage of both the ginger brave and his friends and then the right timing here for the guardians uh, protection to help you get by these particular levels we gave you some different options with that if you still got questions if you got comments certainly let me know because i love to hear from you as always and on top of that would love to see you in our discord server i love seeing everything that you guys are posting and gals and with that Thank you. Thank you for tuning in today. I appreciate your support. Thank you for the likes and the subs as we grow this amazing community here. On top of that, thank you to all of our members. We do have memberships available to you. It's a nice way to support the channel. It gives you emotes, icons, priority response, all those things there as well. And with that, we do have affiliate links and socials. At me, chat me, all that fun stuff because I love to see what you're doing and stay connected. With that, keep on running, my friends. You got hard mode guides here for you. Go pick up those legendary biscuits and keep on running. Take care.